Just how much difference does it really make if you use the wrong shafts in your irons? Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome back to Get Good At Golf on this channel. We aim to help you get good at golf just one day at a time, Monday right through to Friday. Guys, if you want bonus content, if you want to join our memberships, make sure you check out Sunday Club. But today we're at Decomo HQ in Dallas and I thought what better time to test two totally different shafts in exactly the same head. So we have a Decomo 2017 iron here, both the same length, both the same lie angle, but as you can see, we have two different KBS shafts. So we have a 120 stiff and an 80 regular. So 40 grams of difference and a bit of a difference in stiffness there. So I don't know which one this is. I'm not going to look. We're going to hit a couple of shots and then we're going to change over and see what the differences are in spin rates, in ball speeds, in consistency and distance, which could be the big thing. Guys, get in the comments below. What shafts do you use and where you fitted for them? Right. It is really important when you do tests like this as well, guys, you do them blind. Okay, felt pretty good, a little bit of a pull. So my numbers with a seven iron are usually around kind of six and a half thousand spin, usually carrying around one, six, five. Let's see what we get with all of these. I'm not entirely sure which shaft I've got. Chris has handed me the shafts, as you know, and Chris is gonna talk us through the numbers at the end. Carry one, six, six, just like I like. Pretty consistent swings as well. When you are testing shafts, it's important to test them with your kind of golf swing swing, or golf course swing, should I say. And interestingly, guys, what do you think is going to play more of a difference in here? Is it going to be the shaft flex or the shaft weight? One more with this one before we change. Another nice swing. That felt pretty consistent. Again, 162 carry spinning at 6,400. I quite like that around. I'm gonna get the next one while Chris changes the screen. Exactly the same club. Also important that you do test them with the same club head, with the same lie angle, with the same loft, and obviously shaft length as well. Ooh, 7 2. 7 2, but 155 carry, so we've lost carry on that one. One felt gorgeous, love that, 120 ball. Spin it at 7.6, carry 1.65 on the nose. These two feel very similar. Definitely like I move this one a little bit quicker through the air, potentially. 6.7 spin again, they're great spin numbers on these Tacomos. Last shot, then Chris is gonna talk us through the numbers. Lovely one to finish on. Right, Chris, I don't know which ones these are. Do you want to talk the guys through exactly which shafts I've hit and what's happened? So if we talk averages now, the first club James actually used was this one right here. So this is the stiff shaft, so the 120 gram shaft. Swinging at around about 87 miles an hour on average. The spin rate was exactly where James normally likes to see it. So six and a half thousand. And that's what you want to think. It's changed a little bit now. So previously when you went for fittings, you would have seen that a seven iron should be around about seven and a half, maybe, well, seven and a half to 7,000 spin. It's now come down a little bit. So with the changes in loft ever so slightly getting a little bit stronger, spins come down to try and get the sets matching in a little bit better. As a result, carry was near what James number normally is, a 165 James normally plays, so 162.3, and that's pretty much exactly where we'd expect James to be. Very consistent. Also, with peak heights, we can see that these are peaking at pretty much the same height, and we know what kind of ball flight James is gonna get with these. So if we now move to the second one, we'll see that this is with the lighter shaft. So this is the 80 gram regular shaft. We can instantly see 400 revs of spin. So we're getting a little bit higher spinners, which is what we'd expect because there is more spin generated from that shaft. It's not the right shaft for James. So if we now look at the peak height with this shaft, you're going to see with a little bit more spin, it is peaking a little bit higher on those shots. Consistent again, they are obviously a little bit higher. As a result, we're not getting that carry. So James is down there at least five yards carry. I think there was one miss strike in there to be fair, but that might be because of the shaft weight because I've not quite got control of it as well. That's something to think about. That's it, and in transition, you're gonna start to feel it a little bit different. That's gonna then return the club with a different loft. You might then catch that heavy, you might catch it thin. And this is where obviously shaft is very important when you are picking clubs. It's great to go on head design. Oh, I like the look of these irons. I like some forge irons. 
but it is essential that we get the correct shaft. That's going to optimise how far we can hit it and also the trajectory. Once we've got the right shaft, we can get the right numbers and when we get into optimising that, you can see here for James, with his club head speed on those shots, he should be optimising that out at 172 yards carry. He's, we know he is down at 157 even, I lost count there. So we can see that we're getting a little bit too much launch from that one. We're also not getting the ball speed you'd expect. Spin loft is high as a result. All things that are countering, not getting towards the optimum. We can see here again, even with the 7.9 with the stiff shaft, it is not getting to James's optimum. He felt like he hit some good shots there. He swung it quite well, but it is not in the window that you would expect to see here. And that is where for James, we know that James is actually in a stronger shaft than a stiff shaft. He is in an extra stiff, which then brings the spin down, brings the launch angle down. And that is where we start to optimize James's game. That's where we get the most out of James's game. That's where we game actually hitting it somewhere near me. For yourself guys that is why you need to go for a fitting try different shafts and it is all then thinking about what kind of ball flight do you like do you like to see it coming a little bit lower do you like to see a high ball flight where do you play your golf if you play on the coast if you play links golf you might want to get a little bit of a stiffer shaft or a different shaft that's going to get you launching that ball lower and staying out of the elements if you play somewhere like here in dallas Although it is windy out there today. Very so windy out there today. Terrible, terrible, ex yeah. terrible example, to be honest. But if you play somewhere with a warmer climate, it's nice and sunny, you don't have much wind, the ball is flying higher, you might try and get a club and a setup that is going to launch the ball higher. And that is very similar to what you might do with a driver to optimise carry, optimise your distance, but the main thing we're looking for is consistency. And if we can do that, guys, we can help you get good at golf.